Hello friends, my name is uh, Professor M. S. Rao. I have authored uh, 53 books including the award winning book titled See the Light in the Farouz, the novel I read, His Holy Light, the Lama is still forward. I have 43 years of diversified experience including in Air Force. In this uh, short video, I talked about uh, a visa interview that is B1, B2. Uh, most people they want to go uh, abroad. Uh, to visit places, some people they want to visit uh, meet, uh, meet their uh, family members, parents, whatever it is. So, if you have a B1, B2 visa, uh, so you will be very lucky. But the process is uh, very lengthy, but you have to be very simple and straight. First of all, let me share with you about the interview. Interview is all about uh, communication. And negotiation and interaction. This is the basic definition of interview. And uh, uh, when you want to go for a B1, B2 uh, 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 visa, uh, first there are two stages. First stage is uh, biometric, where you have to uh, carry appointment letter DS-160 and uh, passport old and new, and you have to go there and you have to give your uh, 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 hand impressions uh, at the office and the thumbs also you have to give uh, to go the thumbs, thumbs. and uh, so this is how you have to do it it's very easy and uh, don't get late mm, uh, available well in advance and uh, some people say uh, for, for passport size photographs are required in fact they are not required because they take photograph they capture the image, that's enough. The second step is that uh, uh, you have to go for a consulate uh, interview where the uh, visa officer will ask a couple of questions and there are certain documents which are required. Again, you should have an appointment letter DS-160, uh, then you should have property documents, uh, IT address for the last uh, three years, account statement, and the person who is inviting you, you must have the travel, uh, travel history, their details, uh, their uh, uh, income tax uh, returns. Uh, if uh, they are applying for a credit card, uh, that you have to mention. So all those things you have to uh, mention, and you have to keep uh, keep all the uh, documents in uh, uh, folder, and uh, uh, when they Visa officer is asking something, you respond positively and uh, arrange everything and so that you, you can uh, go there. So first of all, uh, uh, dress well and uh, be positive and, uh, and uh, respond to the point and don't beat around the bush, hit, hit the bull's eye. Uh, the process is uh, very simple. Uh, the visa, ask, uh, uh, ask, uh, visa uh, uh, officer may ask you a couple of questions why you are going, then you tell them uh, the purpose of travel, how long you will be there, you can say around two weeks or a month, like that you can, uh, you can tell. And uh, if you have traveled some other countries, it's a plus point, and uh, you have to build a confidence that you go there and you come back. Especially for senior citizens, there is no much problem uh, because uh, uh, they are already retired. But the people, those are very young, they are questioned uh, uh, thoroughly. So you have to be well prepared for that. So this is uh, the process. There are two stages. Once again, I am telling first one is biometric, second is consular uh, interview. And keep everything in order so that you will be able to respond very positively. And uh, keep, keep, keep the printouts. So, this is how you have to be. And uh, the message from this video is that adapt to soft skills and uh, don't tell lies. Uh, be precise. I hit the bullseye. And uh, let me share with you my challenge. I am surveying a brain stroke in India around 2021. I surveyed because of my positive psychology. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.